morning or good afternoon, whatever the time you're watching this one, or it can be good evening, okay? Today's topic is all about article. You have already uh, learned about articles, a, a, and, and, the, okay? Now, this lesson can be taught from uh, grade 1 to grade 10. But uh, for this one, there are special rules that I want the grade 7 to grade 9 and 10 to consider about. Okay? Let's take a look at the second slide. Okay, there will be three rules that I'm going to explain to you regarding the articles, the definite article A for A and and, and the indefinite article the. Okay. And obviously, look at the slide properly. Here in the slide, you're going to know how to use the A and the and, and for the singular noun. We use countable noun I and N because singular is one. And when you talk about the definite or countable or uncountable noun, we use the. For the plural nouns, we don't use indefinite the A or N because A and N means one. So we could use the word some, like uh, I would like some strawberry, please. And in the definite, there will be no changes. We're going to use okay just make sure that you you can repeat it when you don't understand it okay now let's take a look at the when you are using the definite the could you pass the strawberries but you know very well when we are talking about the we are being specific okay we are not giving any general statement we are talking about specific thing or person a person okay now let's if you need an article when should you use an indefinite article and when should you use the definite article this is the next slide and please be attentive rule number one indefinite article and that is a and an. We use the definite article when we introduce a noun for the first time. Obviously, when we introduce it, we are introducing for the first time. So we use the definite article. Okay? The reader or the listener knows which one noun you are talking about. Why do we need this to use it? Because so that the reader or the listener knows which noun we are talking about again i'll repeat indefinite article we use them we use our and when you first introduce a noun then after that one after introducing it we can use the definite article the now this is an example take a look i saw a person yesterday because you have introduced a person a person yesterday now the same person the person was sitting under a tree the tree was very tall okay first one the person was sitting under a tree you have introduced the tree there and then when you have after introducing it the tree was very tall okay now look at the the fourth line the person stood up when they saw a cat the cat jumped on a wall to try and catch a bird but the bird flew off the wall okay now there will there is a mistake in the in the typewriting the type written there the person is to stood up when he it can be he can be she okay when she saw or he saw a cat Clear? So, 
first in the fourth line we have introduced a cat because in the first line we have introduced already the person the second line we have introduced a tree and that is the reason why in the third line we use the okay the introduction of uh, the cat was done in the fourth line. So in the fifth line, when we use again the word cat, we are being specific, the cat. Okay? And then we use again the wall, a wall. Okay? We are introducing the uh, noun there. And then we use in the last line, the wall. Look at the bird. And try a bird, but the bird flew. The cat jumped on the wall. To try and catch a bird but the bird flew off the wall okay read again this one if you have a bit confusion because you won't be able to understand it in one go okay just read it again and then again I will tell you the rule here we use a or an when we introduce the noun for the first time and afterwards, then words, we're going to use the. Clear? Okay. Now, let's to go for the number two, the use of the definite article, the. Okay. Rule number two, when the noun is unique. When a noun is unique, we use the definite article, the. Uniqueness. Okay, let's take an example. The sun, there is no other sun, only the sun. The president, there will be no other president of America or president of the Philippines. There's only one. The queen of England and the capital city. When you talk about the capital city, you can the capital city of Pakistan. The capital city of Karachi. Okay, so when we are talking about the specific, a unique place. The, when we talk about one person, we use the definite article, the. Another example, who's he? Okay, look at the uses of the. He's the president of the United States. Or who's he again? He's the CEO. Who's he? He's the Mayor. In this three example, the reason why we have the president because, as I've told you, because of the uniqueness, there is only one president of the United States. There is only one CEO in one company, and there is only one mayor. Okay, in a place. Now there is another one. They are not unique because they are not more than. They are more than one. Again, in this another slide here, who oh, she? Look at this one. We use uh, the indefinite article a uh, and an. Why? Because they are not unique. Because they can be more than one. Who oh, she? She's a member of parliament. She's a member of parliament. How many member of parliament? We there are a lot of member of parliament. She's an accountant. Is there only one accountant? No, there are a lot of accountants. She's an engineer. So when we are talking about, we are not talking about general. We are all when we talk about general things. Okay, we use the indefinite article, a, uh, or, an. Now let's another one. Look at this example. The same example that I have given the introduction of, a. Uh, when, when you introduce something, you have to use a uh, or an, and then, then onwards, you have to use the. A track, uh, sorry, a truck crash into a tree, okay? And we know there's, uh, using the a track, we know we have, there is only one truck. And obviously, there is only one driver. So, in the next sentence, the driver was not injured. So why the driver is unique here? Because it's only one. Okay? We are only talking about the driver of the truck that crashed into a tree. That is the reason the driver became unique. Okay? Now, we use the definite, uh, uh, definite article, the, for the superlative degree. You know this one also. Okay, these are the examples, the best place, 
the worst thing, the fastest runner, the tallest mountain, the most interesting. Okay, we use them in the superlative degree, and you, I, you know very well the superlative degree is the comparison of more than two things. Okay, more than two things. Comparison of more than two things. So superlative degree we use the the definite article the now the name things could become unique by naming them they are already named things let's look at this one the name things could become unique by naming them yes yes examples the himalayas they become unique when you are by naming them okay the amazon river the indian ocean the united nations the eiffel tower the 806 bus so agar wo apne naam dala da you are making them unique okay now but there is an exemption we don't use the for the name of people of or island and lakes Okay, Fifi Island, Lake Victoria. Okay, this is, these are an exemption here. But, but when we, we use, so when they are plural, we use them, we use the word or the article, the. Okay, another exemption here, but we use the when they are in the plural forms, like examples. The Great Lakes, the Galapagos Island. Now, ordinal numbers, you know, first, second, third, okay? We use ordinal when we use the ordinal numbers as adjectives. And once you place a number on an object, they hold a unique position, okay? Like the example. Ordinal numbers use an as adjective. The second time, the third example, the first person to call. Okay, these are ordinal numbers used as an adjective. Now, there is rule, the third rule, that why do we use an article with a noun sometimes and at times we don't use an article. Kyo kabi kabi yung lon article sa market yung noun say or kabi nahi hai. Now, speaking about a general a noun in general, and uh, we usually leave the article out. Okay, uh, I'll explain it when nothing is 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 specific about. Which particular noun you are talking about, we usually leave the article out. Okay? But, okay? Yes, this is the one. When nothing is specific about which particular noun we should, we, should, we usually leave the article out. Sorry for the stammering. But if it's countable noun, we need to use the plural Form. Okay, let's continue and let's talk about countable noun. When you have, when let's talk about an actual pen or a real pen that exists. Okay, a real pen that exists. When do we use? Why do we use the or the definite the article when we are talking about a real or an actual pen? Okay. Now let's. These are the example in the countable noun. Can I borrow the pen? Okay. The pen that is on your desk. The pens are in your bag. Now, the person who's talking and trying to borrow the pen, uh, he or she knows the pen, the actual pen that are existing in the on the desk or in the bag of her friend okay, or classmate. That is the reason why she's being specific. The pen. Okay. Now, uh, in the general statement, we don't use articles, okay? Uh, 
when we we are saying something like I prefer to use black pens. So, okay, in here we don't use any article. I have ne I never have pens when I need them. Okay? I bought pens for you to use. Here we are not using any kind of article. Why? Because they are general statement. Now, general statement, let's another example. I really like eating cake. Now here, another general statement, we are talking about cake. But it could be any cake. Okay, there are a lot of cake when you said, I really like eating cake. So we are talking about generally. generally. Now let's look at another. I really like the cake you made. Which one cake? The, the one that is made and this is she's talking about the specific cake that she has already eaten or that she ate okay i really like the cake you made so the use of uh, the or the definite article there is used because we are being specific when you are speaking generally about countable noun we use, as at the beginning of the slides, we use the plural noun. Let's take an example. Plural noun, I'm allergic to strawberries. Okay? There are no article needed. Australians like to eat eggs for a breakfast. Okay? When we are talking about strawberries, there's two specific strawberries, Australian strawberries, or whatever, Pakistani strawberries. We, uh, the person is uh talking about generally about any kind of strawberries and Australians like to eat eggs for breakfast the is kamatapi der hai koi bhi ando kar bhi anda koi bhi eggs australia australians wo breakfast me kati hai okay now when we talk about uncountable nouns like information knowledge equipment we retain the original form when we talk about this one. What we retain the original form because information there will be no plural form in that one. Okay, we are talking about the specific information about when we are we are saying they when look at the example the information is available at the counter. What kind of information? The information we talk about a specific information here that possibility we've already talked about we've already discussed earlier okay or before that's why the information is available at the corner let's take an example when you are going for getting information about how much will be the fee of the school and you it happened that you know already so if you want to go furthermore to know everything uh, you can go in the counter and then you can ask obviously the, the information about more about the fee or the fee of the gym okay the fee of the club the fee of the school or the fee of the doctor or anything okay it depends on wherever you go but you this information has been already talked about when you go in the school obviously the information about the fee you have going to us and it has been discussed when you go to the doctor you know already that they are about the information but you want to be to get more information about something about that uh, hospital okay and so on. now let's talk about when we are talking about gen general statement or information we don't use the word the definite article the information is available at the counter is ka matlab kya is ka information aap milegi udar okay Let's take an example. If you are in the airport, you want to get an information regarding the flight to USA. Any information you want to go to any anywhere in the country. So everything is available in the in one in, in that counter. Okay? Not specific, it's only about talking about a general statement. And if you're going to government offices, possibility. Okay, if there are some if they they have a lot of information regarding how what about Carrefour? So you can have information in that counter. But we talk about general statement. When we talk about general statement, we don't use the 
definite article the. Now let's have the summary of all the rule one. When you introduce something for the first time, we use a and or and. Then anytime after that, we can use the. Summary number two, unique noun, which usually use definite article the. Okay, U unique noun, we use the article the. And the is used when the ordinal numbers are objective. Definite article the is used when the original, ordinal numbers are adjectives.